What is going on, Ada community? Welcome to Dapp Central. My name is Farid, and in today's video, I want to break some news surrounding the release of the official JPEG.store application on mobile devices, not only for Android, but also for iOS devices. So as you guys can see here, we've got a screenshot, and I'm actually going to be jumping into my phone here in just a second to walk you guys through the process of actually downloading and getting access to this application. Now, this was shared by the Hosky team, and again, shout out to Hosky for their breaking news here. As much as a lot of us would like to think that they're just a meme coin, they do an amazing job of staying engaged and communicating with their community. So that said, let's go ahead and just kind of touch on this and exactly how you guys in the community can get your hands on this application. And this is actually going to be my first ever walkthrough of the application itself. So bear with me as this is going to be an entirely new experience for me as well. So you guys should now be able to see my phone. And what we're going to do is jump into our app store, which I've already got opened up. And then we're just going to type in JPEG. And I believe this is going to be the option here, JPEG store NFT marketplace. And we can quickly select the application. As we can see here, we've got some pretty cool screenshots. If I scroll down, we can see some of the ratings. Now it looks like this application was just released given the fact that there's no ratings just yet. But let's go ahead and actually download this. I'm gonna click on get. And I'm gonna confirm here. And my application should now be installing. So we're gonna give this a second. It should be relatively quick and it looks like it's already done. I'm gonna click on open. And we are now jumping into the official jpeg.store application for iOS. So pretty cool here. Cardano's number one NFT marketplace, which they in fact are. I believe they've got right now over 95% of the trading volume when it comes to NFTs in the ecosystem. Next, we can see the top NFTs from here. We can also go ahead and actually share our favorite NFTs. And it looks like we can also get push notifications here directly to our phone. So that's a pretty cool update to see there. I'm going to click on next. And it looks like I can link my wallet to see my NFTs. For now, I'm going to skip on that. That's within the profile section. And let's just jump straight to the home page and see exactly how this looks. So far, I really like it. It seems very intuitive and pretty straightforward. So let's kind of check this out together. At the very top there, we have our spotlight collection. So these are what looks like the top collections right now that are just kind of being spotlighted or that are trending at least. So we've got the Jelly Cubes, we've got the Clay Nation, Boss Cat Rocket Club, and the Ape Society. Right below that, we've got the trending collections over the course of the last 24 hours. We can also browse by category here. So we have DeFi, Gaming, Generative, Indie, Interactive, etc. Seems pretty straightforward. And then if you're new to Cardano, they've got an, uh, a guide basically helping you to get started on this particular platform. Next, if I jump into search, again, I can toggle between these different types of tags associated with these different NFTs. And let me just type in the Ape Society and see what we get. So we get the Ape Society there. We've got the description, the link to their Twitter, their Discord, and their website. We can see some of the apes here. And if I actually select one, let's see how it looks. Again, pretty smooth. We've got the price there at the very bottom. We can share the link. We got the policy ID, asset ID, property, price history, trading history. A lot of really solid information here. I really like this so far. I've been checking jpeg.store using my regular browser wallet, which I've got an iPhone, so I use Safari. But being able to do this natively inside of their app, I think is a little bit better of an experience as opposed to me doing it on my own. So pretty cool there. Let me jump back out and I'm going to cancel this and let's jump into stats. So again, we can see the stats surrounding a particular collection. Let me select the Ape Society and I can go under activity and I can see the recent activity here. I know that they recently introduced an analytics tab as well. So these look like recent purchases, but let me jump back and see here. So in terms of stats, they don't have the breakdown of like the holders or the owners, but I would assume that they'll probably be adding this here very soon. We've just got the regular items and then the regular activity section. And then if I jump back one last time, let me jump back over into my profile. Again, it looks like there's not really much for me to do right now without actually scanning that QR code to associate my wallet here. But all in all, again, this was just a pretty brief, 
brief video, excuse me, given the fact that this just was released and I wanted to make sure to go ahead and actually provide you guys the latest and greatest news here surrounding all the builders on the Cardano network. But again, this looks like an awesome update. Congrats to the JPEG.store team. Thanks again to Hosky for sharing this amazing news with us. I definitely do appreciate them. And I believe that that is going to bring us to a close here for today's brief video. Again, just quickly touching on the fact that the JPEG store team has just released a mobile application for Android and iOS. If you guys appreciate timely videos just like this one and you guys find this to be useful, I would really appreciate it if you guys could tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by the channel and you want more content like this, consider subscribing. And if you guys have any questions for me surrounding Cardano, JPEG Store, or just anything going on within the network, then make sure to leave those comments down below. That said, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.